What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamstang and today we have the iPhone 12 with us. And I know in 2020, a lot of us are stuck at home. We can't drive that much, we can't travel that much, we can't even fly that much. But you know what? It's actually better for the environment because there's less air pollution, there's less contamination around. And Apple, with their iPhone 12 launch, they were very big on being environmental friendly because they are the number one brand and they want to take the first step. So today we have here the iPhone 12 and we want to check out how environmental friendly this iPhone 12 is. And what better way to check this out in, in a outdoor setting like this, where we can be one with the environment. You can hear a lot of things. You can be checking out the sky. Who needs LED lights? Who needs fans? Who needs aircons? When you can get the natural air. But it's pretty hot right now. So first of all, you're gonna notice the box is really, really very small. And that is because Apple wants to actually save space so that they can ship up more of this to all of you so that everyone can buy an iPhone 12. And yes, you may be thinking that I should be getting an iPhone 11 box to compare with you guys, but you know what? Let's be environmental friendly and I'll just show you a picture. So outside this box here, there is a nice plastic here that I hope is biodegradable. So let's check this out. Guys, it, 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 it's, it's not degrading. So here we have it. This is the iPhone 12 in blue. And you may be asking, why is it in blue? That is because the sky is blue, the oceans are blue when the environment is when the environment is healthy. And Apple wants to remind you every time when you look at this phone right here, you'll be reminded to do your part to be environmental friendly. So now let's check out what is inside this box. And we have a bunch of papers and a pin and some stickers. So Apple decided to give us some papers and stickers instead of like, you know, just giving us a QR code here to scan whatever you need to scan. And does, does anyone use the stickers? All right, so also here we have the cable and yeah, that's it. We just have cable. So how, how am I supposed to charge this phone? I, I need to buy it separately? Doesn't like an older phone model? I need to buy an iPhone 11? So, so basically I need to buy an iPhone 11 or I need to buy it separately that comes in a separate box. Well, that, that doesn't really make much sense. So here is the iPhone 12 and you know what? Let us just peel this off gently and environmental friendly. Oh, that sound. Oh yes. So here is the iPhone 12 and I have to say it looks really, really gorgeous. And on the front here, we have something called the ceramic shield glass. Basically, this one is to protect your front glass so that if you drop it, it will not break. But if it does break, Apple can charge you a ton of bucks just to replace the front glass. So on the back of this device, you're going to see there are two cameras over here, the main lens and the ultra wide lens, both coming in at about 12 megapixels. And why you need this is because when you're going out, you need to take pictures of the outdoor, some grass, some blue skies, some blue oceans. You can take that with that new cameras we have here on the iPhone 12. This iPhone 12 cameras are the same as on the 12 mini and also on the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. But the 12 Pro Max and the 12 Pro does have an extra cameras, but we're not gonna talk about today because we're gonna talk about only the iPhone 12. So over here on the front, we have a very nice display and Apple is greeting us with a nice hello. And it does look really good, although it has the only the white and blacks, but it does have that Super Retina XDR display, which basically means it's an LED screen. No more LCD and we have a nice LED for the first time ever on an iPhone. And that's really good because if you want to go see some pictures of some grass, some outdoor skies, some outdoor oceans of the environment, we can see it in the deep blacks with the nice punchy colors on this nice LED screen on an iPhone 12. So over here, I'm going to say that it does look very nice. It has a flat screen edge over here and it will help you to make your phone stand up. And that is good because you don't have to buy an extra case for it because that would damage the environment. So Apple is thinking ahead. 
So over here, we have a bunch of speakers on the bottom and on the top, but no more headphone jack. And that's pretty accepted in 2020 because why would you need wires? Why would you need any cables when you can go wireless over here on the iPhone 12 so that Apple can sell you more products? So the iPhone 12 is powered by the A14 Bionic chip. It is more efficient because we need to save power, we need to save battery, and it's better for the environment. So lastly over here, we have something very new on the iPhone 12 series. We have the Mag Safe. Basically, why would you want to do a normal wireless charging when you can do magnets with the wireless charging? So basically, Apple wants to sell you more products so that you can patch it over here. You can buy a phone case for it. You can buy some wallets for it to attach to the back of your phone. So yeah, that's the reason because Apple wants to sell you stuff. So that is it, this is the most environmental friendly unboxing of the iPhone 12. If you did enjoy this video, do click that like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. What? We're not going to do like this anymore? Oh, oh okay. Also do follow me on my socials as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamstack to see me save the environment. That is it, this is Dr. Hamstack. Stay safe, take care and safe environment.